if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two, um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. You start training again at six, train from six to eight. And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions, right? Now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, you go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11, right? You relax and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four. And now you're back at it again, you know, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four, right? And so now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never going to catch up because they're five years behind. <laughs> Right? So it makes sense to get up and start your day early because you can get more work in.